don't do it in Windows. Yeah. That was, I still have that computer as a doorstop, as a reminder to read the instructions. Them. Now let's see what tech Morgan and Kat found high in the sky. Now have you ever watched an NFL game wondering what it would be like to watch it from a bird's eye view? Check it out. It's flown over uh, 10,000 passengers in just over five years of operations. It's toured 31 cities and traveled approximately 70,000 miles. Wow, and it's journeyed to three countries, Canada, Mexico, and the United States. Luckily, Morgan and I had the wonderful opportunity to get the details behind the Sanyo blimp. Let's check it out. Uh, I'm kind of scared. I'm very excited. Sandy One is uh, ready for launch. And away we go. We're here on the Sanyo Lightship. They finally let us go up in the sky. How are you feeling about that, Kat? I'm a little freaked out. Hiya, folks. How you doing? <laughs> He's not looking. Well, essentially, we are in the ocean of air, just like a submarine floats in the ocean, like the Pacific. Uh, if you look at a glass of champagne, you'll notice all the bubbles rise. Yeah. That's because the fluid is heavier than the gas inside those bubbles. Well, the atmosphere, the air, is heavier than the helium inside this bubble. And so it's trying to force this bubble of helium upwards. And um, how do you compensate for the extra weight of the people? Um, we use 25-pound bags of lead shot, and the crew normally pick up four of those and throw them at the same time into some compartments under the back of the gondola. But when you get off this flight, and I'm going to go and do a, another flight, they're going to add equivalent weight in lead ballast to your combined weight to that ballast box. So I know that one of the main functions of the blimp is that there's a camera underneath the blimp so you get the best shots of the game, right? Yeah, absolutely. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Michael has a... a camera stack. The camera's mounted out on the front of the uh, gimbal, we call it. As you can see, I got a joystick which controls left, right, up and down. I got my wide and tight with my zoom and a focus knob. Let's find something good. Affirmative traffic's in sight, send you one. This is the same technology that the police use to follow cars. And he's been nice enough to provide me with a two-inch monitor. What this provides me is an opportunity to see how well zoomed in he is, and right now we're going over the practice field. Oh, uh, that's just now, a, Alan, that's a really, pretty good lens. I on really this. wanted to drop a watermelon. Did you? Yeah, but I heard oh. that that's not. That's it's, not cool. it's, uh, it would be doing over 120 miles an hour, and it, Sounds it'd dangerous. make a mess right when it hit the ground. The, <laughs> <laughs> the camera huh? is right out in front here on this. Uh, suspended under this mount. Now I can't see it sitting here, so I glued a little uh, cheat sheet here right up on the ceiling here. And what I can do is I can see where his camera is actually pointing. That was so fun! You should ride a blimp. The blimp! The I blimp. learned so much about blimping. Yeah. I don't think it's actually called blimping, though, and is it? there's people that are blimpers, and they're obsessed with blimps. They've got websites. You should check it out. She made that up entirely. So given the chance to ride this annual blimp, it was an awesome experience. Cat and I would highly recommend Get it. Get on it. A ten, ten grand, you can take a ride on the blimp. Ten grand? Yeah. You can buy your own for uh, two, million. $2 million. So now for more information on this annual blimp, simply log on to the website, screensavers.com. Mm -hmm. Just a couple... Million dollars. That's it. And a staff of 16 full time. Back to you guys. Wow. Leo, will you buy us one, please? So yeah, sure. No problem. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, you, if you want, you could go and say, I want to go on a ride on the blimp, and yes. you would have to fork over ten thousand dollars. I think it depends on their policy. Sanyo actually does a lot of uh, blimp charity. rides for charity. Oh, that's really good. Mm -hmm. yeah. What fun! Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Still to come, report for music computer training. Pool camp and coming up next. And after the break, I don't know what that is. Okay. <laughs> I was channeling the rock. Megan's using Safari for two weeks, and she's ready to tweak it. So what took her so long? We'll find out when the screensavers continue.